Hello and welcome to my cooking show. Here, I will attempt to make an authentic Chinese sweet and sour pork with fried rice. To start, we will need ketchup. I picked Heinz ketchup, cornstarch, I picked the one I had lying around, but any cornstarch will do, white vinegar, although rice vinegar would work, some white sugar, specifically granulated sugar, though cane sugar also works. Some soy sauce. I have this uh, marca pina stuff, um, but you know, any soy sauce will do. Soy sauce is soy sauce. Okay, so here's the ingredient list. You can uh, pause if you'd like to read it. First, we will add 3 fourths cup of sugar to the pot. Traditionally, they would have used cane sugar, but I'm using white sugar. Next, we will add 2 thirds cup of water so it can turn into a sauce, because granulated sugar on its own does not a sauce make. Next, we add one third cup of white vinegar. Again, rice vinegar works as well. Next, we add one third cup of soy sauce to give it a salty kick. Thickening agent, two teaspoons of cornstarch. It's super important to have a cold mixture as opposed to a boiling one because cornstarch will clump up in boiling water. And lastly, oop, two tablespoons of ketchup for that acidity. Now mix it all together with a spoon or a whisk. A whisk is probably a better idea. Turn on your stove while you're doing this after you're sure that all of the cornstarch has dissolved. I don't know what to put here, so enjoy this hyperlapse set to Ultra Kill music. Once it starts boiling, turn the stove to a simmer and let it slowly reduce until thick and drippy, while stirring of course, because if it burns to the bottom of the pot, it's impossible to get off. Once again, enjoy music from the Ultra Kill soundtrack. And now that that step one is done, Onto the chicken, rice, and seasoning. Onto the marinade. This step was to taste, because I did it once over the instructions, and they were terrible. So I decided to make my own. It's four parts water to two parts soy sauce to one part sesame oil. 
Add two tablespoons of onion powder and one tablespoon of garlic powder, and then whisk it until you can't see the floaty particles. Once you're done there, transfer it and your diced pork cubes into a bag and let it sit for 30 minutes. Done that. Wash your rice. I'm using 3 fourths cup of basmati rice and let it soak with twice the amount of water for 15 minutes. Now dice up the scallions. Make sure to wear either goggles or cry like a man. Guess which one I did. Then chop up your hot pepper of choice. I picked bird eye chilies since they are both authentic and spicy.
Next, set these aside and pick a bowl, like this one I found around, and uh, set it down. Next, add two cups of flour, one half cup of cornstarch, and an indiscriminate amount of pepper and salt. Within reason, of course. Then, set it aside, and pull out three eggs. These will help you batter the pork. Crack two eggs into a bowl for dipping. Whisk your eggs until they are mixed. And one into a measuring jug for fried rice. The pork should now be done. Lay out your mix of breading stuff in a bowl and toss your meat around. <laughs> Next, since your rice is also done, go ahead and boil it while stirring constantly. Once it's boiling, let it simmer for no more than 10 minutes. Next, take your breaded pork and dip them in one by one, and in between, stare at the camera like a psycho. You'll want golden brown ones. Don't burn yourself, by the way. And with the scallions and the eggs, go ahead and fry your rice in a wok. And finally, use your glaze and just drizzle it over the pork. Sorry, I don't have any footage for this bit. I burned myself a few times and uh, a grease fire broke out, so I kind of just forgot about the footage for a bit. Finally, look at that. Authentic sweet and sour pork. and a giant mess. I need to work on my uh, cooking skills.